everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amy and I am on a financial freedom journey with my family. I share all about that on this channel. Today I am gonna film a really quick requested video. This was not a planned video, but I have gotten a couple of DMs on Instagram and comments on YouTube asking me to film a quick tutorial on how to use the net worth and financial goals tracker. So I wanted to film that for you guys because I want you guys to be able to use this and feel comfortable using it. So I'm hoping that this will be helpful if you are not super familiar with Google or Google Sheets or Excel. Hopefully this will help. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click the link in the pinned comment or the bio. I will leave it in both places. You will click the link and it will prompt you to create a copy of the sheet. So Google Sheets is free, so you can do it on your phone, you can do it on a laptop, you can do it on an iPad, like any sort of device. I love using Google Sheets for that reason because it talks to my laptop and my phone so I can update things in both places and have one sheet that is shared between the two. So if you're doing this on your phone, that's awesome. It's a little bit harder to see, so you might need to zoom it in further on your phone because of the font. But yes, I'm going to leave it zoomed out for now because I want you guys to be able to see the entire picture here. So I apologize if it's a little bit small, but let's go ahead and get started. So once you create this copy, you're going to first go to your financial goals here and you're going to fill in your goals for the year. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to create a couple of fake goals here. <laughs> so let's just say saving for a car and Roth IRA. So you can also like add rows here if you want to. You can delete rows. So if you want to just get rid of that one, you could do that or you could leave it um, just depending on what you have going for the year. So I'm just going to start with these two. So then we're going to go over to our goal section and we're going to set what our goal is for the year. So for 2023, let's say that we want to save $10,000 for a car and we want to put 6,500 into our Roth. So as you can see, it will automatically pop up your remaining amounts and your percent to goal. So then you'll also have your totals here. So as you put in money, so let's just make examples here for a couple of months. So as you can see, when we enter in these numbers, it is updating over here for the percents and the amounts to goal. So that will automatically populate for the entire year and it will add up everything here. So you'll have your totals, your goals, your remaining and your percent to your goals here. That is it for the financial goals section. Again, you can add and delete rows if you want to. If you have more goals or less goals and this would bother you, you could just delete these two or do it however you wish to do it. And then moving down to the net worth section. So here is where you would enter all of your assets. So you could do car, home, cash, and investments. For the purposes of this video, I will just pick those. So let's say you have 250, oh, sorry. <laughs> I doubt you have a car that's worth $250,000. <laughs> I wish, right? Um, and then we have 10,000 in cash. And let's say we have 50,000 investments. So it will automatically total at the bottom here for your assets. And then you have to enter in your liabilities. So we have mortgage and credit cards. So then you would enter in your amounts. So when you do the liabilities, you're going to want to enter this as a negative amount because that will calculate correctly for the net worth portion. So again, sorry, I meant to do negative here. So then it'll total your liabilities here as well. And then as you can see here, it automatically calculates your net worth using this formula. So it will add these two together and it will give you your net worth. And then as we continue to go down the year, it will continue to do that. So as you can see here, it's going to update your net worth here and then it'll give you your change. So you can see here, from January to February, we had a $5,000 change. And then also at the end here, it will give you your year to, year to date change. Obviously it's not gonna be super accurate right now because of this. So we could delete that and see the total if you want to. Um, that's how I do it. I don't have this running total, so it's more accurate. But if you want to keep that in there, then that's fine. So there you go, that's that. And then for the net worth tracking, I just do dates here. So there's no formulas or anything. You would just enter the date. So for example, you could do January 31st, 2012. And then let's say March 2013. So it'll just add um, your dates here. 
so that you can track these. And you can do that however you want. You could type it in if you would rather view it like that, and you can change the format of the cell to show it differently if you wish to. So yeah, that is everything. I think hopefully I went over things. I know a lot of you guys are not super familiar with Excel or with Google Sheets. So hopefully this was helpful for you guys if you are not familiar. I wanna make sure that you guys feel comfortable using these sheets and then hopefully we can all track our net worth and goals together in 2023. So if you haven't already download that tracker and let's get it set up for 2023 and have an awesome year. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you in my next video. Bye guys.